Well, we haven't really done an oil change on this car yet. So, let's pull it into the shop, drain the oil about, out of it, see how it looks. One thing to take into consideration when doing an oil change on a car that's got an AccuSump, always drain your AccuSump into the pan before you drain your oil. And we can see, according to our gauge down here, that we are drained on oil. So that 20 PSI is just the air pressure in the back of the cylinder right now. Take a look under this thing while I'm at it. Yeah, we've definitely been rubbing there. And uh, that V-band's been catching on some stuff. That thing rattles like a mother right there. Whatever, that's not really my concern. My concern is the oil, so we are going to drain the oil. Yeah, I'd say it was about time for an oil change. Okay, so with an AccuSum system, there is two parts to adding oil. First thing, you want to make sure your AccuSum valve is closed. So you can see there, our AccuSum valve is closed. And now I'm going to dump all of this in there because I know this engine takes like five and a half quarts so we're gonna put all this oil in first and then fire it up now that we have our oil in our engine we're gonna go ahead and start the car up and right after we start it we're gonna open the valve for the accu sump watch the gauge build pressure as soon as it peaks out on pressure shut the valve and then immediately shut the car off Now that we have pressure built up, shut the valve, shut the car off. Now our AccuSum system is primed, we're going to go ahead and check the oil, top it off as normal. And you can see how much it takes and we're like barely even on the stick. Go a little low, add a little more. There we go, right at the full mark. And just like that we are done and ready to get on the road now a couple key things to point out uh, first of all I didn't record me changing the oil filter I did change the oil filter because I know somebody probably caught that and was gonna comment about it but I did change the oil filter second of all we didn't drain the cooler lines uh, you can drain the cooler lines it'd be a really good idea to prime the oil system after you do that though so you're not firing it dry 
Uh, I didn't want to have to deal with doing that, so I did not drain the cooler lines, but we do want to make sure we drain the Aggie sump, so we definitely did do that. What? Okay, that was interesting. And the last thing somebody's probably gonna bitch about is the fact that I just stuck Rotella diesel oil in this thing. Um, I swear by that stuff. I mean, I've put it in my drift cars and that stuff has worked great. It's never done me wrong. I'm sure somebody out there is gonna bitch about the whole, oh, diesel oil is only meant to be used in a diesel. I'm not telling you to put diesel oil in your fucking car. I'm just telling you I put it in my car and it's never let me down and it's dirt cheap. Uh, so the car took nine quarts of oil and that stuff was 12 bucks a gallon. Two gallons, 24 bucks for an oil change. Anyways, that's gonna be it for this one. So like the video if you liked it, subscribe to the channel if you're new, follow the builds along. And until the super probably breaks down again, I'll catch you guys later. That'll probably be tomorrow.